Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, uh, well, we were dealing with some shenanigans a little bit uh, on the initial first planet, um, but it was not uh, really here per se. Well, some of it was here. Um, my computer was acting up a little bit earlier. No. Oh, don't know why this is dead. Um, and it dropped a lot of frames in the previous recording. Uh, figured out what the problem was now. So it's all fixed as of right now. It's good and fantastic. But the problem right now is that, well, it's nighttime. So I don't have any power going to my teleporter uh, for a long period of time just from my battery, and the battery's going to run out eventually. So, uh, the teleporter will quickly get me to a, uh, station, which apparently this one is the closest to the goal that we're supposed to be following. So, we'll go here to do the thing that I wanted to do in the second episode, which was finally find the stranger. Or at least the follow the stranger in some way, shape, or form. I'll show you the uh, what I got from that one thing in a little second. There we go. The one thing being the uh, uh, salvage. That was the word <laughs> that I was hunting down. And feast your eyes on this: the high tech hydraulics. Approximately 2,036 years old, this technology bears the official hallmark of a centuries-old manufacturer renowned for their exacting standards and product longevity. Despite its age, this example appears to be in almost perfect condition, and it is nearly two and a half million units. Trading high value. Yeah, you don't say. Yeah, it's pretty high value right there. Uh, we're going to sell that. <laughs> I'm going to sell all the stuff that I picked up. And, uh, actually put this the starship here. There we go. Good. Um, yeah. Besides that, not much else we're doing with our stuff that we've accumulated other than just selling it. So, we're going to do that, of course. Uh, sell that. Sell this. And sell this. Cool. And then we're going to sell all the pearls, of course. And the only other thing left is the high tech hydraulics, which has a little bit of extra demand, which brings up the price just a little bit more. And I am back into the millions. <laughs> millions of units. I am now back to that. Beautifully, beautifully done. All right. Oh. Okay, that's a big ass ship. The Forge of the Abyss. Oh, that's a metal name. All right. Um. Let's see. There's a thing. There's a thing I wanted to do. We wanted to check. Okay, I've already gotten it from this one. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's my current ship. Let me look at it. What I can do with the Skylark of the Stars. Alright. I can purchase extra storage for some of the money I made. I can't say I don't want to. Oh, boy. Um... Hmm. How much would updating the class go for me? Uh, upgrading the starship. Uh, improved starship class. Oh, that would be in nanites, and I need a lot of those. Oh, boy. Okay, um, so storage would actually be 
good though. Not gonna lie. Um, let's buy that little bit of storage. Can't buy any more. That's fine. That's fine by me. Wow, that's a big ass ship. It's ugly colors, but big ass ship. All right. We will head out of here and travel to the coordinates, which are apparently partially corrupted. Oh, geez. There we go. I want to be on track with this one. Is that? Oh, that's my capital ship. Didn't know I left my capital ship over here. I guess it makes sense, but still. Okay, so those little crystals do give me platinum. Okay. It's not a lot of platinum, but it's a decent amount of platinum. Well. Get that platinum. Might as well. Oh, I see. It's a recruitable frigate that's trying to talk to me. We got the convergence of those you seek new recruits for your fleet. We are here to assist if you require. Let's see what you got going for you. Can I afford you? The answer is no. You do got some good shit going for you, though. Remote mining unit and trade specialist. If only I had the money. If only I hadn't spent it all on a storage slot for my ship, which I didn't really need all that badly, but, alright, um, where did, I was about to say, where did my freaking ship go, there it is, there's my capital ship, fantastic, um, kind of making sure to search for platinum, because platinum is really hard to come by. Well, whereas, like, tritium and silver and gold, you're really easy. Really friggin' easy to come by. As you can tell. And I just got a whole bunch of it. Didn't last a second. Why do I have an anomaly detector? That's pretty early on. To have one of these. Nearby space anomalies. Such objects are highly unpredictable. Well, I'd say... Um, well, I'm going to head to my capital ship for right now, just so I can make sure I drop off some of the stuff I picked up. Ooh, almost missed this, and that, and there we go. to my capital ship. Maybe I can drop it off right now? Ow. Freighter's still considered out of range. Boo. Okay, how about now? How about now? Oh, come on. I call shenanigans. I'm basically right in front of it. Well, speak of the devil. I'm right in front of it, and now landing. Alright, it's fine. Either way. I will drop off the platinum I've picked up, the silver I've picked up, and the gold I've picked up. Substantial amount of all, really. And then... I guess I'll have to do something with that eventually. Uh, but not right now. Definitely not right now. Oh! Shit. You can tell how in my original file I'm used to doing other things. Because <laughs> I keep doing things that I realize, oh wait, I can't do that. As I fall to my almost death. <laughs> As I fall to injury, I should say. Alright. What do we got going on here? How are you doing? You're not damaged because you're not in the red. That's good. Another two hours. Okay, that's fair. 
that's fair, and we can live with that. Um, hmm. What should I do with my stuff, though? Stuff that I'm carrying, what should I do with that? Um, Corvax casing. Didn't expect that. I'll sell it. But didn't expect it, like, at all. Okay, um... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna drop this off in the freighter itself, since I got it from the freighter. Yeah, there we go. That's a good idea. Um... That there. Okay. Alright. Fleet arrived in the that system. I didn't get to read it in time. At least figure out the pronunciation of it in time. There we go. Good. I'm just rearranging as I see fit. When I see fit. Just, you know, as you go. As you do. Okay. Uh... I guess the only thing I can do is actually go into that planet and figure out where the stranger is. It's the only other option I got. So, uh, I guess that's what we're doing. I guess. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything before I go, but I think... No, wait, no. I want to bring this with me, just in case. Just in case. Yeah, I think we're good. And with that, I grab my ship. Oh, damn it, there was another ship here and I didn't know. Okay. And away we go. We head to Stranger's coordinates wherever they are from there no one knows not even me it's an approximate location which means it can be anywhere within that vicinity search, huh? I mean, yeah, should probably do that. But first, to make sure I'm landing in a good spot. Sweltering, unwavering, sentinel presence, great. Abundant and fair for flora and everything else. Okay, I don't need that. I need this. Thank you. Society time? That's a weird name. Wait, what? Aware of its fate. Notes aware of its fate. What does that mean? I'm concerned about its ability to be aware of its fate. What does that mean? What does that even mean? I don't know. Alright. What do you got? What are you? Translucent teeth. Interesting. Okay. Trying to make sure I scan everything the minute I land. Oh, wow. That's a mineral? In that shape? Notes extrusive. You don't say. Pure ferrite. That's good. And that's also a... That's also a mineral? In that shape? Okay. It's pure ferrite. I'm just gonna break it down. Okay, well that didn't work. There we go. And we're almost.
almost done with that. Good. Oh, I got a geode out of that. Nice. And it gave me more dust. Good. I can't grab that thing, whatever that is. That's a fire berry. Interesting. Item recorded the catalog. Okay. I know where you want me to go. I'm just looking at everything that I can first. I no, I'm not missing anything. Okay, what? Oh, there it is. Okay, you little shit. Come on, damn it. I saw there was an unidentified mineral in this general direction. God damn it, let me actually have it. Okay. Found it. Maybe we'll scan it. And it gives me phosphorus. Okay. Oh, hi there. Um, didn't know you'd be right there. Okay, now it wants me to go in this direction. Damn it. Then I run into a mineral that I haven't scanned. Damn it. Never going to be able to get over here at this rate. Okay, there we go. Okay, and good. Fantastic. What are you? What in the hell are you? Made of stardust. Okay. Okay, I have to go this way. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Big whoop. Oh, I get sodium out of that thing. Finalizing signal. Coordinates traced to distress beacon. One that's right there? Interesting. Well, now I get to scan things easier. This is nice. Alright. Um, shimmering what? What? Uh, um, they just give me a ship, essentially. Okay, open by repairing damaged components. Oh, and my ship has my freaking... Okay, well, this is a quick, cheatsy doodly way to bring my ship over here without having to go all the way to it. Brings it right to me. And gives me my chromatic metal that I have on the ship. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Beautiful. There are no signs of life. There is the, only the static of a broken communicator. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. A pulse spitter. Rapid fire projectile weapon. Specialist rapid fire weapon attachment for the multi tool. Access fire mode by pressing Y and fire with RT. Yep. So it's basically like the other thing. The pulse spitter redirects multi tool optics to ionize in inserted metallic objects, or rather, metallic elements. These projectiles are launched in a rapid fire spread, bombarding potential targets with a wave of high energy plasma. Ooh. Interesting. I'm not installing that because my thing already has enough crap on it. I'm unpinning that formula. Get out. Oh, I did these things. I didn't bring them back to the... St I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Eventually I will do that. Construct a storage container. I'll do that later. 
first things first. Shimmering Birth. WZ2. Oh my goodness. Oh good golly goodness. Everything is broken. But I can claim the ship for free. Alright. Um. Alright. Everything is broken. Almost beyond repair. Who asked for you? Get out of here. Look at the ship. Okay. Um, can it actually fly? No, it won't. Okay. Um, okay. My chair is making noise as I try to adjust myself to be comfy. Um, okay, I need dihydrogen jelly. So that way I can make this thing actually fly. Probably. Um, do I need it for anything else? No, I do not. At least I don't think so. Um, hermetic seals? How do I do those? Condensed carbon. Carbon. Okay, so a lot of this isn't that hard. Still, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this around. So I don't know how much I'm willing to do to rebuild this thing. Why did I make carbon nanotubes? God damn it, I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm a doofus. That's what I am. I'm a doofus. Um, repair with one of these and one of these. There we go. And then repair that with that. Okay. I ain't gonna fix the hyperdrive because I'm probably gonna scrap the ship. The ship isn't all that good compared to my other ship. But... At least it might be flyable now? Question mark? Not sure, but we'll find out. Once I loot everything that's over here. Oh, of course. The thing I needed, right there. I didn't have to make it. Stupid ass did. Of course I did. Alright. And get some nanites. Nice. Alright. Um I think that requires uh, that. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean it's useful at least. Okay. Oh, well there's some dihydrogen right there. Except for my mistake. Haha. -ha. done. Picked up some things I didn't intentionally need, but hey, it's still something. Alright. I can now fly! Efficient thrusters does... Wow. It cuts a lot of... Cuts a lot of the uh, price of launching off. That's pretty cool, actually. Alright. 
Oh. There's a building right there, too. Which I might as well land at. For reasons. Not the least of which being that I can easily launch that thing again from there. As opposed to having to do shenanigans. It's Fireberry. I was about to try and mine it again, thinking it was something else, but it's not. Alright, that is a marrow bulb, I'm sure of it. Yep. That is a big thing right there. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Almost always is at this rate. Alright, dust and sodium. Well, I could use more sodium. Always use more sodium. There we go. And phosphorus wouldn't be too bad either, honestly. Now I'm thinking about it. Well, if I could actually scan the thing, it'd be nice. Cobalt from this. What is this? I don't know, but it doesn't seem to want to react as a thing. That's annoying. What is this, then? Cobalt and salt. Alright. Didn't want that, but hey. There's that and that. That's the thing I wanted. I'm gonna toss that. Goodbye. Don't need you. Salt is. Eh. Did I actually re? It's actually pretty valuable. Huh. We should go for it after all. What is this ghastly looking thing? Pure ferrite and phosphorus. Okay. I could use both. Okay, I am. Good. I was about to be annoyed for half a second. And just pure cobalt. Okay, so it's this stuff that gives me salt. Alright, um... That gave me cobalt. Okay, cool. Vortex cube, but don't get much else out of that. Did that say vortex? Yeah, it said vortex. I thought it said something else, some weird other thing. Well, since I'm out and about, I'm gonna wait until that's all the way down. Then I'll use that life support pack. Make some proper use out of it. I'm going to actually check out this building here. So I wonder what it's about. Wait, there's two of them? There's two sentinels in this general area. Is that what you're telling me? Huh. Interesting. Oh. Because this is a secure depot sort of thing. Which means it would probably be bad if I tried to break in, huh? Oh, 
Hi there. You're going to die in a second. There you go. I don't know why I didn't want to move. That was weird. Alright, well, I'll take that. Well, I'll take you as well. Since I'm in here. Automatic process has scrambled the output of the terminal. I can make out a few, wor a few words, but the rest is lost in static. They could lead me to the overseer's workflow and bring the facility back online. Uh... Shield? I failed to access. Damn it. The installation remains offline. Damn it. Damn it. I guessed the wrong word. I don't even know what it could have been. Ow. Now, oh, well. Well, hi there. Um. Okay. I was a little concerned they were going to be immediately mad at me for walking out, but <laughs> right now they don't care. It's just kind of cool. And they don't care that I'm doing that either, which is good. Huh. I'm noticing that it's not making my... My... Tool move. My multi-tool move if I'm... Doing stuff with it. Usually would. Okay, anyway. Oh, I know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, well. I think I'm good. Right now. With everything I found on this planet. So. No contact. Artemis Entity. We received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity? Tell the truth. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes? A proper introduction to our home. What do you... All... Oh. Oh. That sort of introduction to your home. Warning. Threat detected. Oh. Is there a threat detected? Of some mostly harmless criminal. Okay, well, I'm not going to bother them. I'm just going to go into the big Death Star looking thing. Okay. All right. Okay. Whoa. Why? I received salvaged data from Mact? Okay. Why did I receive salvaged anything from anyone? Okay. Speak to the station inhabitants. Okay. Silver Synthesis Companion. Collect Expedition Reward. I don't... I don't even know what that is. The only expeditions I know of are of the frigate variety. Iteration Gemini. Hello, have we met? I don't believe so. I'm Gemini. This is Hesperus. Ooh, what about you? Me? I'm just staying here, just for a little while. Polo and Nada are very kind to all their friends. Gemini glances toward the being at their side, their golden eyes contemplative. If it weren't for Hesperus, I'd probably still be alone out there, drifting from world to world, entire galaxies to discover, and no one to share it with. 
I've never found genuine company in the others. Even the Gex, for all their talk of friendship, they all seem to want something. Hesperus is different. They've been a true companion to me. It was a pleasure meeting you. Say hello if you pass through again. We'll be right here, more than likely. Sounds good to me. Oh. Salutations! The sharp-eyed being stares at me, unblinking. They tell me their name, Hesperus, but rush through the words, as though nuanced. Nuisanced by the introduction. Okay. Their focus is on me. Tell me, stranger, who exactly are you? A wanderer? A traveler? I guess I'm a traveler. Hesperus's mustache quivers when I mirror the term they have chosen. Traveler. The word hangs in the air. I believe we tread parallel paths, you and I, and yet, quite impossibly, we have met. Let us not make this our only encounter. Okay. Who are you? Iteration Helios. I am so tired, young one. Leave me to rest, please. Okay. Have a good rest, then. Hi there, Ares. Life form gestures apologetically. Perhaps I should return another day. Okay. I guess I don't have anything for them. Maybe. Oh, I was talking to you. You are not... That looks like a sentinel. Y'all break sentinels? Cool, I'm in. I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant, yes? Polo's old, own design. A perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels, beyond vengeful Corvax. Nada watches time come and go. Uh... So what about the space station... Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free, free like Nada, to observe, to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. So the Sentinels are with the Atlas. Okay. The Corvax watches me. There is a patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold the metal shell. Okay, so what about you? Nada awoke with the death of Korvax Prime. Could not understand why such things happen, why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The Convergence do not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo, friend. Now many other friends visit. Our Convergence is small, but Nada happy. Nada's carapace pulses with a gentle light. There is something familiar about them. Who's Polo, then? Polo friend found Nada. Found my signal. Nada is safe. Now Nada finds other signals. Makes others safe. The station has been calling to me since I woke up on the planet. Perhaps it called to Artemis as well? So, let's talk about Artemis, then. A traveler entity. Perhaps they are known to you? I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. They were lost to us. Highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as they speak. Speak with Polo, friend, Traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. Okay. I'll talk with Polo. He's over here, apparently. And a Gek. Friends everywhere, if only you know where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Artemis, friend. You are where they should be. It does not seem possible, but all things are possible, such as the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace. How? Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? When it makes sense... You're not making a lot of sense. Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. 
Interesting. Space Anomaly is a hub for travelers, a nexus that unites them whenever they are un in the universe. Use Nada and Polo's home to meet other travelers, undertake missions, earn nanites, or upgrade your equipment. Speak to other travelers to earn nanites. Okay. Guess we talk to... This guy, who was apparently too tired earlier. Helios. Ah, young one. You who still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality is long past, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen? I yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery. I'll give you the data I have on planets. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please, take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. Nothing for you, maybe. Oh, hey, 270. Hot damn. Learn new technology blueprints. Okay, I'll do that. Sure. Any opportunity I have to learn new cool stuff, yeah, might as well. You are starship research. You are exosuit research. Interesting. Traveler new, your suit is an extension of yourself. Let me aid you. Oh. 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 Simple translator. Rocket boots. Efficient water jets. Oh, this is all cool. This is all cool. And I can pay for it with nanites? Oh, that's so cool. Grades the metallic shielding of the exosuit's gloves. An advanced blend of reinforced metal and catalytic shielding allows the user to tr safely handle hazardous substances, as well as perform the necessary feats of strength required to harvest certain farmable flora. Oh. That would be good. And a personal refiner? A compact extension of the exosuit. Installing a small portable refiner accessible directly from the user's exosuit interface. The unit requires fuel and is limited to refining one substance at a time. Wait, there's ways you can refine more than one substance at a time? What? A what? Uh. Um. Airborne recharging? Oh, that'd be cool to have. Oh, that'd be great to have. Uh. Advanced jump system. Activate jump systems by rapidly pressing A. Efficient water jets. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to get this just because it would be useful in the short term and the long term. Airburst engine. Highly efficient co <laughs> compressors fitted around the jetpack exhaust. Take advantage of the wind flow generated by persistent falling. Recycling some of that energy into jetpack fuel. Oh, that'd be so useful. I kind of want this more. Honestly, I do. I... Simple translator, an automatic translation device... Records and parses nearby conversations before running the data through a contextual learning system to determine intended meaning. Low memory capacity on this entry level model limits translation capacity, so it only allows me to do one word. Still, that's something. And all it costs to make is a wiring loom. That's fine. Oh, I don't need that. We're out a huge array of base parts. What? Structure. Oh. 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 Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Signal booster, huh? A versatile scanner that detects nearby buildings. Oh, that'd be kind of cool to have. It gives me something. Oh, there's... You can build your own galactic <laughs> train terminal. Communication station, message module, health station... Dude, I could build all of this myself. A landing pad! <laughs> oh boy. Transport modules, roamer, geo bay, any owned exocraft. Do I own any? There's aquatic constructions? Decorative modules. Illumination. <laughs> Industrial modules. I already have these, but there's more? There's... What? Electromagnetic generator? I can just harness the magnetic field to make electricity? What? And I can extract minerals and gas and... Oh, boy. Oh, oh, and I can farm stuff. And I can go into all the other stuff, too. Oh, 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 oh my... I've, I've gone cross-eyed. <laughs> I've gone cross-eyed at how much I can do. Oh, good gods. There's so much I can do. So much I can get unlocked here. What what do you, what do you do? Your multi-tool research. Okay. Yes, multi-tools. Yes, so many multi-tools. Make them better, faster, make them more. Uh oh, oh. Optical drill where I get more resources for the mining. Oh, that's pretty good. Waveform recycler. And survey device. Self-contained circuitry upgrade for the analysis visor. Adding real-time terrain analysis to the scanning array. Huh. Ah, there's so much here that I can't do with my current multi-tool. But I want, I want to have the tech so I can do it on its own. Geology cannon. Rapid ground excavation. <laughs> okay. It's charged with unstable plasma. All right. Explosive hole creation may also damage nearby organic matter. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. So, so many things. So many things. I'm buying that for sure. Because when I get a multi-tool that will allow me to do that, I want it. I don't need that. Some of these I don't need. Okay. Exocraft research. Work together, my friend. Always a new gear to turn. Huh. Humboldt Drive. Powered by hydrothermal fuel cells. How? Exocraft mining laser... How do I get an exocraft? How do I make one? I want one, but I don't know how. I'm down to 750 now. <laughs> what is this? Learn new product recipes. Oh my 
Good golly goodness, you're telling me I can learn to make some of these? Why does it say good golly goodness? What am I? Fucking back in the 60s? Ugh. Oh, I can make an Atlas Pass. And I can make products. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Game, you have no idea. You have no idea what options you have opened up for me. <laughs> okay, I can make unstable plasma. If I go with this here. It's something for the future, at least. I want to make the Atlas Pass. I want to be able to make it. And I guess I also need to be able to make a microprocessor, because it requires that to make it, too. Okay. Wowzers. Alright. Okay. Can I talk to you? What do you got? What do you got for me? Life form... Okay, I don't have anything that he wants, or rather, he doesn't want to talk to me. That's fine. Oh, there's so much, so much going on here. Oh, that's a big-ass fucking portal. Okay. I, uh... I, um... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. Um... We're way over time, though, so I'm gonna have to end the episode. But holy crap, there's so much, there's so much I can do here. There's so much I can do here. Oh my good god. Okay, um... I'm going to break down this starship. I'm gonna go to the space station to do that. But, uh... <laughs> okay, um... Uh, I guess it's time to end the episode for right now. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we play together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and being baffled at what I'm currently looking at. And all the info that has now been pushed into my brain. Oh, that's a dangerous criminal. Oh, no. Uh, I should probably deal with my uh, starship issue as soon as possible. Uh, I'll do that and then uh, get to that bounty, I guess, eventually. For you.